Excellency Samdaik Hun Manet, Prime Minister Cambodia, Deputy Prime Ministers, Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, great pleasure we welcome you as a friend and continuing the great uh, relations that we have had with Samdaik Hun Sen for many decades and, and of course um, uh, we have had uh, very full discussions on a number of issues and the signing of this um, understanding and agreement between uh, the both governors of central banks is meaningful because this has been one of our pillars in terms of dealing with the uh, issue or problem with our currency. Uh, we have had uh, relative success with China, and it's 25% of our total trade is in our local currency. With Thailand, with 18%, and Indonesia, about 20%. Uh, to with, with Cambodia, I think using uh, local currencies would, of course, um, lessen the burden and the pressure of having to be tied only to the U.S. dollar. We have also agreed to f uh, accelerate the process of uh, JCBC joint um, committee meeting uh, between both countries uh, earlier than expected. Both foreign ministers have been entrusted to fix uh, a date. And b b uh, following that, of course, the issues like um, food security, uh, collaboration research, um, investments, um, halal industry, renewable energy, and high-tech industries, including AVs and AI, will have to be discussed and explored. Uh, both our custom departments will facilitate movement of goods, and uh, we have already started uh, the inis uh, or initiated the discussions on the MOU by both customs, and uh, will be finalized soon. Uh, it would uh, depend on the efficiency of both ministries of foreign affairs. We have huge potential in terms of boosting trade volume of palm oil, white rice, and the uh, trade ministries of both countries will use the Joint Technical Committee platform to address these challenges and find solutions, uh, both trade and tourism. Uh, investments. Uh, has been um, uh, there, but then uh, we should uh, expect uh, more investments into Cambodia and from Cambodia into Malaysia. The value of investment by Malaysian companies in Cambodia has exceeded three billion US dollars. And of course, there's huge opportunity, and the Prime Minister has assured that he will give all the uh, attention and support possible. Malaysia's interest to be a key player in construction of over 1,000 km of seabed energy pipelines, facilitating the transmission of renewable energy from Cambodia and Laos to Singapore. Uh, these are issues, uh, transborder, transnational, uh, that can be um, explored. We have expressed our gratitude uh, to you, Prime Minister, and the uh, Cambodian government for assisting us in uh, resolving the issue of uh, victims, Malaysian victims uh, due to job scams, a syndicate. And uh, you were very uh, forthcoming and very fast. And I would thank both the police and immigration for their uh, attention and support. Um, we also um, work together to, uh, with the Muslim community with your support for whatever training required uh, to ensure that um, you will play a positive and meaningful role in Cambodia. Um, we explored the issue of uh, tourism and uh, 47 flights uh, a week uh, from Cambodia to Kuala Lumpur and Kuala Lumpur to Cambodia, but then uh, you have suggested and I agree that we should explore new routes uh, to expand this because there is a huge uh, potential in our both our countries. We have acknowledged the fact that ASEAN has uh, recorded impressive uh, collaboration in a number of fields when intra-trade and investment is certainly profoundly lacking and uh, we have therefore uh, a responsibility 
to ensure this would be enhanced so that it be beneficial to both these countries. So again, uh, my dear friend, uh, thank you very much for this visit. Uh, I'm pleased uh, with the outcome and uh, looking forward for further meetings. Also, we're meeting soon again in the ASEAN uh, Australian uh, meeting in Melbourne. So, terima kasih. Thank you, uh, Prime Ministers. At Thank Austria. you, the Honourable Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. Now, without further ado, may I invite His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Cambodia, to deliver Wait, his statement. The protocols. <laughs> Thank you once again, Prime Minister uh, Anwar. I would like to thank your Excellencies uh, for the warmest welcome and uh, excellence arrangement extended to me and my delegation during my first official visit to Malaysia today. Uh, this year marked the 67th anniversary of relationship between our two countries. And throughout these years, our bonds uh, have grown uh, to new height in terms of economic high-level interactions, people-to-people -people exchange, and strengthened defense tie. I take this opportunity to extend our profound appreciations to Malaysia for support and engagement across diverse sectors, as well as good care and facilitation provided to Cambodian workers residing in Malaysia. In addition, Cambodia always keep in our hearts the invaluable contributions of Malaysian peacekeepers to Cambodia during our peace process in the early 1990s. Prime Minister Anwar's official visit to Cambodia last March and my visit today signifies this close cooperation between our two countries. Today, uh, like Prime Minister Anwar has mentioned, we have uh, concluded our discussions on a wide range of matters in order to improve of our cooperations across sectors. In our del deliberation, we note that uh, with satisfaction and positive taking since the official visit of Prime Minister Anwar to Cambodia last match, together we charted new course action aimed at fostering shared growth and prosperity. First, on the political front, I assured Prime Minister Anwar continuity of Cambodia positive and inclusive approach towards Muslim communities. Cambodia welcomed Malaysia's decision to host uh, and uh, to start discussions on our Joint Commission for Bilateral Cooperation, which hopefully to take place uh, very soon, um, before mid of this year, in order to uh, start off the process of engagement in other sectors as well. Second, on the economic front, our bilateral trade shows a promising upward trends and there is still untapped potentials. To further bolster economic partnership, we underline a more active role of our private sectors in fostering economic collaborations and development initiatives. A quick win will be immediate implementation of the uh, two MOUs between our respective private sectors to be signed later today. Furthermore, I will address the Cambodia-Malaysia Business Forum later, later uh, uh, today to showcase potential and investment opportunities awaiting Malaysia's exploration and expertise. We also welcome the signing of the MOU on cooperations in the area of financial innovation and payment services that have just concluded. Moreover, Cambodia invited Malaysia to consider the possibility of establishing a joint trade committee we had discussed on this matter uh, to explore additional avenues and inject new energies into economic and trade relations. We discussed the deepening of our collaborations in the fields of education, training, custom, halal industry and possibility of expanding import of agricultural product in the two countries. Third, recognizing the importance of enhanced connectivity, we discussed the possibility of uh, collaboration further in terms of tourism and facilitation of additional direct flight, like Prime Minister Anwar has mentioned, especially for more destinations between our two countries to facilitate the visit between our two peoples, as well as the tourists from third countries between our two countries. 
Force on the Defense and Security op Cooperation. This country reaffirmed the commitment uh, to strengthen mil, mil cooperation and sustaining collaborations, including information uh, exchange and tackle regional challenge posed by online scams. On the energy front, Cambodia appreciates Malaysia's principal support for facilitating the Laos, Cambodia, Singapore undersea power transmission cable project crossing Malaysia seabed. In addition, Cambodia invite Malaysia to consider participations in the above said undersea power transmission cable project between Cambodia, Malaysia, and Singapore for regional energy security. In closing, Prime Minister Anwar and I are optimistic about the future of relation between our two countries. We all continue to meet and consult regularly and a view of elaborating our relationship to new highs. And once again, Prime Ministers, thank you for your warm hospitalities and a very productive discussion today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Excellency. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached the conclusion of, of our joint press conference. Once more, we would like to express our gratitude to His Excellency Hun Manet, Prime Minister of Cambodia, and the Honorable Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim, Prime Minister of Malaysia, and to all distinguished guests. Announcing the departure of His Excellency Prime Minister of Cambodia and the Honorable Prime Minister of Malaysia. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.